everybody cooking in the kitchen with Sylvia I'm going to show you how I'm how I make a simple uh, cheese quiche recipe um, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients really it's more of what you have in your refrigerator that will be helpful so one of the first things you want to have is either you can buy a pre-made pre-cooked pie crust I made this one and I've already baked it in the oven to make it just a little crispy but it's not cooked all the way through because it's going to go back in the oven again so you can buy one of those pie, uh, ready-made pie crust that you can use you can get at the store I'll put the ingredients on this particular recipe if you like so you can use that one yourself if you don't have one so, so here's what we do we've got a um, pan I'm heating this up <coughs> going to add just a little bit of oil, probably about two tablespoons or so. We want it to like about a medium heat. To that we have some ingredients here. We've got some garlic. This is a small onion, just or about a quarter onion that I chopped. I've got some sausage links, pork sausage links. Now you don't have to add the pork sausage links if you don't want but this is just a couple of sausage links that I chopped up. I've got some cheese, you can use cheddar, you can use mozzarella, whichever one you like, whichever your preference. Got some chopped mushrooms, chopped red bell pepper and a green one. If you don't have red or green, just use one of the other. Got some chopped spinach, some parsley, two eggs that I'm keeping in here to keep them fresh, and then I separated the two eggs and the egg whites that go to these eggs. So we're going to get to that in a little bit. First we want to cook our onions. Pop those in carefully. If you feel it's a little too high, you can always bring it down a bit. We'll put these onions in here. To that we're going to add the garlic. This is about two small um, garlic cloves. Let that heat a little bit. We're going to have to overcook them. And then go ahead and add your sausage links. Now since this is going to cook in the oven, you're just really heating this through and cooking this uh, sausage links just a little. You want to get these vegetables um, cooked a little bit and like I said, they'll cook some more in the oven. So even if you don't overcook them now, they'll still cook in there. Now uh, you can add chicken if you don't want pork. If you like to um, make it chicken type of chi uh, filling. Or if you just want to make it with just the vegetables, you can do that too. So either way. Just a little bit. Okay, so and now we can go ahead and add our bell peppers. This is about half a bell pepper that I chopped up. Just let that heat through. And we can add our mushrooms. You don't have to add mushrooms if you don't want. You can omit that. If you like, if you like mushrooms, that's a, a good addition to this dish. Just give that a quick little toss here and there. I'm going to add just a little salt. That's about, I would say, half a teaspoon. You can add some garlic um, powder to it if you like. If you didn't have the, you know, garlic cloves, you just add a little dash of garlic powder. Here we're going to just add a little bit of seasoning to make this tasty. And you can add a little dash of pepper. I don't usually put pepper on mine, but you can put pepper flakes or some um, cracked pepper, black pepper. Just drizzle a little on there. Like I said, we're just heating these through for just a little. Okay. 
Okay. So we can go ahead and turn off the fire here. And then just set this aside for now. Okay. We're going to toss these in in a little bit. So let me move these out of the way. And here we're going to take care of our eggs. So here. Be right back. I wanted to keep my milk cool, especially when it's warm outside. We've got our two eggs. It has a little egg white that's okay, no worries. Okay. We're going to mix those a bit. Okay. We're going to add one cup of milk. You can use whole milk, low fat milk. It's your preference. So we're going to add about a cup. About a half a cup of sour cream. I thought about half a cup left in this container because I was using it for another recipe. So we want about a half a cup. I'll go ahead and just use that up because it's very delicious. Mix that again with the eggs. Okay, now well, let's put that aside. Let me wipe my tongue here real quick. It's a little messy today. Okay, now we have our egg, our egg whites. We want to whip these. So you want to put your two egg whites that I had. Remember when you use egg whites, you don't want to mix anything with them. So you make sure your bowl, your container is nice and clean because it needs to whip up. And we're going to make this until it turns into a nice fluffy foam. So we're going to whip these up.
here we go. See? Now you've got some nice stiff peaks. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to fold this into the egg mixture. So take it carefully and just pour it in there. Your um, meat or vegetable mixture is already cooling down, so we're going to add that to this is just as well. You just want to fold it in. You're not going to beat it. You're just mixing it carefully. Just fold it in until you can see it's starting to combine. It looks very foamy. That's what we want. What we're doing is we're saving, we're trying to um, create volume. So by whipping the egg whites and carefully adding them to the eggs and the milk and the sour cream, it will still hold some volume in there. So when you bake it, it almost um, cooks like a cake. Okay, so this is good. Now here's where we can add our vegetables that we had cooked earlier. Just add them in there carefully. Add those nice juicy fillings. Don't want to miss that. And add a little bit of parsley. I usually save a little bit for the topping. And here's where we can add our spinach. You don't have to add spinach. You can add um, like um, bok choy, chopped bok choy. I think the spinach gives it a nice flavor. So I'm adding a little. This is about, um, I would say a cup and a half, maybe two cups. But I'm just going to add a little at a time. I don't want it to get too, too uh, overfilled. And just mix it in. The spinach will cook in the um, oven, so you really don't have to cook it twice because then it becomes too wilted. So make sure that you do wash your spinach before you chop it so you have nice and clean. Like I said, just mix it in carefully. You don't want to stir, I mean, you don't want to beat it, you just want to fold it in. So all the meat, the mushrooms, and everything is here. So here we go. Now we just want to bring it over to our pie plate. This one is still a little warm and I want to burn myself. And then you just want to fill it. Put in. If you think you made a little extra, you can always put it on some ramekins and cook it there. I think I'm going to do that with my extra. some small ramekins I can do that and here's where you want to top some cheese just put it on top just some right on there and save this for the extra one I'm gonna miss you there we go and this one we are going to bake it at a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. So just bring it over. Put it in there. And we'll bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. You can check it and you'll see that your cheese is melting and the egg is starting to set. So I'll see you then. Okay, we've been cooking our quiche for about 35 minutes, and here's what we have. This is really hot, so be careful. I did cook the uh, smaller ramekins, the leftover that I had, but I took those out a little early because they're smaller and they don't need as long cooking. So those are the leftover. You don't need to put it on a pie crust, but you could just eat them off of the ramekin containers. So here we go. This is our quiche. It's uh, 
You want to let it cool a little before you slice it. It'll probably settle down a little bit um, as, it, as, the, as it starts to cool. And then you just cut it just like you do a pie. A pie. You slice, slice, slice it into diagonal squares or, you know, uh, pie-shaped uh, pie uh, pieces. So like I said, you might want to let it cool a little bit. Um, it's really good with any other meal that you're preparing. You can make some steaks, some roast, even some salmon. This goes great. You can also have this for a potluck or one of those Sunday brunches that you have at home. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little piece and hopefully it won't uh, sink on me too much but because it's still quite hot. Let me see if I can slice one. See how it's still puffy? <laughs> Remember this was all that foamy um, So see it's sizzling there. So that cheese. You could use whatever whatever your favorite cheese, mozzarella, Swiss cheese. This was uh, cheddar. It's very creamy and moist inside because of the sour cream and the milk. You could see all the mushrooms, the sausage, the spinach. There we go. And top it with more cheese if you like. You have your little ramekins here. So I hope you get a chance to try this recipe. Um, I will put this on my uh, website link and I'll include the um, crust recipe, the pie crust recipe, if you want to make your own pie crust. But like I said, you don't need the pie crust. You can just put it in a baking dish like they did with the ramekins. And hopefully you'll get to enjoy this. Alright, I'll check back with you again with another recipe. Bye-bye!